Three, two, one, action, you're supposed to say, aren't you? Action. <laughs> I'm Paul Wilkinson, and, I, and I'm 68. I was born with AKU. I was diagnosed at 16, and I was referred to a London hospital. I'll tell you how I describe it. AKU is a genetic metabolic disease. The body can't deal with protein. It turns the protein into homogenic acid the acid eats the cartilages away. I understand it's linked to chromosome 3. Patients with alcaptonuria, or AKU, have trouble breaking down protein. And this leads to the harmful buildup of a compound called homogentesic acid. It is a recessive genetic disease associated with a defective gene on chromosome 3. So in order to get AKU, patients must inherit two copies of this faulty gene, one from their mum and one from their dad. This makes it a very rare disease. So they're born with the condition, so therefore all you can see initially is just dark urine. By around the age of 25 to 30, they start to get back pain. They start to get discoloration of the ears, and progressively over time, the knees, the hips, all the joints of the body start to become involved in this process. So I'm Professor Ragnar. I'm a consultant at the Royal Liverpool University Hospital and I'm the clinical director of the National Alcaptonuria Centre in Liverpool. Funded by the Department of Health, the National Alcaptonuria Centre opened in June 2012 and for the first time brings together a team of specialists to help treat and monitor AKU patients. So we quickly realised that people with alcaptonuria have problems walking. Mobility is impaired significantly in patients and that is a hugely important issue for quality of life. In my 30s, my back and my neck was the first thing that began to get very stiff, very painful. And then within a very short while after that, one of my hips virtually went in a matter of months, just crumbled away. The cartilage gets uh, brittle and it breaks up and over time leads to uh, pretty much the damage of the whole joint and the ultimate treatment at older age is joint replacement. The National Alcaptonuria Centre are now collaborating with the Liverpool John Moores University to analyse gait impairments in AKU patients. Because the joints undergo this kind of degradation, uh, the, the in inevitable effect of that is that the way the person moves will be affected. So what we've been doing here today is called clinical gait analysis. It's basically the scientific method of measuring how we walk. Well, I've been walking up and down with these markers on my legs so that I think they can analyse my walking method, what's good, what's bad. If we analyse it scientifically, we can then pinpoint which joints are damaged and what mechanism might be affecting mobility in these patients. From his gait, we can see if he's making any um, compensations. Obviously, pain is one of the biggest predictors if, if you change your gait. So if something looks abnormal and in that area he says he has pain, we can kind of connect the dots. Uh, we can give some advice to the patient on uh, how perhaps to avoid some compensations and prefer another type of compensation that puts less stress on their joints. Paul was walking quite slowly, that was the first obvious thing that we noticed and having been through so many operations I'm sure that he has had a fair share of uh, trouble and difficulties walking. I'm having some real mobility issues in my left foot and I'm under a bit of pressure to have some more surgery. It's quite difficult at the moment. The National Alcaptonuria Centre is currently trialling a new treatment called nitisinone that helps prevent the build-up of homogentesic acid and therefore eliminate the harmful effects of this rare disease. Since 2006, 2007, which is really quite a short period of time, six or seven years, we have made enormous strides and we are now on the brink of a treatment for alcaptonuria. Oh, the black pea, I haven't got the black pea now. I feel bereft that I haven't got black pea. So I have known Paul for nearly six years and he commenced the nitisinone last year when he came to the centre in October and he's been on that for one year so far and but he's doing really well. A matter of weeks if not months the black pea had gone. For the first time in 60 plus years I pee normal coloured male 
you're on. What's that like? <laughs> just, it's just amazing, really, isn't it? For more information about Al Captainuria, visit the AKU Society website www.akusociety.org.